Well, it's been a few weeks since I've done an update, so I thought I'd go ahead and uh, kind of review some of the stuff that I've done the past few weeks. Um, been kind of pulled away with other projects uh, in the hangar here. I uh, had to finish up an oil leak on the on the uh, 55 Chevy, uh, pick up on the front timing cover, and then we had some, uh, oh, some maintenance issues I had to deal with on the 182 over here. And uh, But those things are all out of the way, and so we're kind of back on track with the... Uh, with this EV West conversion uh, on the 71 Super Beetle. As you can see, I've, I've got uh, a lot of the components or the main components in the back uh, mounted in place. They can still be removed, but uh, um, I decided to go ahead and put in an aluminum panel in the back here uh, just to kind of clean things up a little bit. Plus, uh, I've got uh, right here the side panels, and these will go in right back over in here uh, to kind of clean things up and I'll be able to hang a few items on there uh, uh, as needed uh, for the conversion in support of the conversion but uh, I thought I'd go over a couple of items real quick some concerns I've had with this uh, with this kit and with this, the wiring in specific um, as you can see I've labeled all of my terminal ends or where the wire end um, and to their locations uh, whether it be the gauges or the Prius uh, accelerator cable or so forth I found like there's uh, five or six leads coming out of the main harness here that were uh, not accounted for in the in the wiring harness diagram that's provided by EV West sorry about the shadow in there and so been in contact with EV West and to their credit they've responded back quickly not always with the answers that I want or uh, complete answers but we'll get it at some point in time so one of the issues that I had was that uh, in identifying the wires based on the wiring the colors coming off of the uh, right here is the harness coming off of the controller is that the colors didn't always match the pin location so in other words I'm not able to use the wiring diagram using just the colors to going to certain locations. Um, I'm going to have to use the pin location and then throughout the whole wiring diagram change that color to whatever the actual wire is coming out of that pin rather than what is shown on this diagram. Kind of crappy I think. I think they should be updating these PDF files online to reflect what the actual harness is rather than just leave it to me to discover these things and um, I could have easily just have uh, wired it up based on the the wires coming out of it not looking at the individual pins which there's 35 of them if I'm not mistaken coming out of here and I could have easily shorted out all kinds of stuff so for those of you that are just following um, a simple wiring diagram that is provided um, make sure you double check your pin locations because it could really fry some stuff up so we've also got, as you can see here, these large orange uh, two-gauge wires. These basically are going to come from the controller right here down to the side of the motor. Uh, I'm assuming they carry a ton of current, uh, which is why we have that. Uh, the rear two terminals will be, uh, looks like positive and negative, coming from the battery packs, which we've decided to definitely use the Tesla S model uh, batteries. Uh, we'll be using five uh, of those units, and I believe they're on the way. But um, so moving forward, it's just uh, a lot of stuff that uh, you wouldn't think you would have to deal with, and I am. But anyway, that's part of the fun, right? So let me move into the inside of the of the car here. Let me shine some light inside there. Whoops, whoops. And I'm going to walk around to the other side, uh, so y'all can kind of see what I'm going over to. Um, as you can see in the inside of the of the uh, of the car, I've stripped everything out of it, including the seats, carpet, and so forth. I needed to. We're going to need to put new carpet in, and uh, I thought I might as well clean it all up and get it ready. Um, and no surprises, no rust, none of that stuff. So I'm real happy about that. Uh, I'm getting some glare coming off this camera, but so you can see, I removed the the pedal cluster and the actual pedal itself, the accelerator pedal up front here in anticipation of using this uh, what's well, a Prius uh, accelerator uh, or throttle and plus their bracket as you can see on the back side of this thing unfortunately it looks like the bracket is designed for older model of VW's not for the newer Super Beetles and I say newer 
it really isn't real new. But so I'm going to have to design uh, some blocks like this. I'll uh, first kind of design them out of uh, softer wood, and then I'll get either hardwood or billet. And so this will have to fit in place something like this, um, somewhere in there like that, so that the accelerator is in the normal position uh, that an accelerator would be, rather than just something just kind of hanging there. <coughs> but uh, anyway, so got a few gauges. Uh, one for the system monitor or battery monitors, and then this is for the system monitor. Uh, really got some glare, but and so these will be mounted probably up in this area, one there or one, excuse me, or one over on this side, and then the other one <coughs> will be mounted somewhere in this area here. So it'll look, it'll look real nice, and uh, and it'll look like it'll be professionally done. But so. I'd like to walk over to the other side of the hangar real quick, and I'm going to give everybody a, a peek of uh, the newest toy in the uh, in the hangar here. And, and so, uh, <clears throat> here we go. Let me get around this nose, this spinner here. But there she is. I'll do a real quick walk around. There are no emblems on the back, so y'all are going to have to guess what that is. But I'll tell you right off the top, it's not the new Corvette, and it comes from England. And this is a 2014 model. And I'll just keep walking along here real quick. Ah, get out of the way of the wing. And there's going to be our end shot. So, hey, everybody have a great Thanksgiving. And uh, hopefully I can update this real soon. Ciao.